Episode 100. Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing great. Look at me. I dressed up for the choice occasion. I look fat. <laughs> it's episode 100 of Let's Talk UV. Woohoo! After four years. That means I do it every two weeks. Something like this. And uh, uh, average. Like I said, I hope you're all doing great. I'm doing amazing. I had a nice busy weekend. Uh, work tomorrow as most of you, but that's just how it is. We're gonna talk about hey G, hey Photostorm, hey Dave I and me. <laughs> I posted um what I wanna say? Uh we hey Grow M, how are you? We're gonna talk a bit what happened last week, what's gonna happen next week, because that's amazing. Hey Manuel, hey Whitaker. Um and then Yes, we just talk. We're just having fun. That's it. Who emails me at this time? Uh. eBay. We don't need... Ah, it's better sound. <laughs> what a fail that C40 videos <laughs> was. Huh? It's just... It's it's on the road. It's a bit different than at home. A bit different than with a phone and uh, having mobile connection than at home with a landline. Hey, Tony. How are you? Yes, we're gonna go fast through some news. I only have two things. I just looked through it. Nothing going on that was interesting to me. And then we look at the Ionity map and then we talk about stuff. And then, of course, we talk about my Tesla Model S Plaid test drive that I had on Friday. I could drive with the, uh, with the car for one hour. Well, I had to make videos, so I drove for half an hour, I would say. If even, no, I, think I would say I drove half an hour. Yeah, let's go through some news. Number one, now the smart hashtag one can be ordered by everyone, not just by pre-bookers. You could pre-book the car since, oh my God, October, I think. October, and you can uh, could pre-book four different variants. And uh, ordering started uh, one and a half weeks ago. Then there was a problem that even though only pre-bookers could uh, order, not everyone who pre-booked could order a car. They were sold out because uh, for, for that time. <coughs> so you, you couldn't get one right away. Then a few were uh, available again. I guess that's because um, uh, people uh, canceled their order or whatever. And now... Uh, everyone who is didn't even uh, pre-order a car can order it and the, 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 the cute thing was you could order at a dealer or online and uh, I've seen in some uh, Facebook groups that I'm in that there was a lot of problem that uh, it was just too much and it didn't didn't work very well and a few people couldn't get to the ordering process and stuff like this but again that's understandable doing it the first time um, as you all know i pre-booked the car i cancelled my order and smart emailed me and said i can expect my pre-booking 500 euros back in the next two weeks uh, also <laughs> um, i i pre-booked Many, many months ago, I, w I would say maybe a year, no, not, maybe not a year, but a long time ago, uh, a Tesla Model S. Um, and I cancelled that because then the prices came out and it was just way too expensive, 100,000 euros for not plaid, above 100,000. And uh, I, I uh, cancelled that pre-booking for just 100 euros, but I e uh, you couldn't uh, cancel cancel it on the website, which is weird. Tesla does everything on the website, but this you couldn't do. Um, I, I, it says you have to contact your, your local uh, service center. So I contacted them, didn't get a reply, did it again, didn't get a reply. Um, at some point, someone from Berlin called me, but I wasn't home. And then I got an email from Tesla in Berlin. Hey, uh, uh, sorry for that you have canceled the order. I need your bank account so we can uh, transfer the money back. So I gave, gave him the bank 
uh, uh, account stuff and everything, the data, and then nothing happened. Again, two months passed. This was in the beginning of, no, it's more, it was in the beginning of December. So I emailed again. So what's happening? <laughs> I didn't receive anything. I, I sent you my bank data. And then someone from the local uh, service center emailed me and said, uh, I, I have done, uh, I have ordered to, to get you your money back. It should be done in the next two weeks again. So we'll see. Um, yeah, this looks nice. This is a rendering of the new BMW Noe Classe, which means new class. Um, uh, what BMW wants to do next uh, for the new electric cars, because everything should be different and new. Um, I would just prefer if BMW would start having a, a, a real platform, an only electric platform. That would be enough. I don't need any special things, but I'm just not, I'm also not the only one here. Then, here I see new stuff that's new, this gray. It means not available until further notice. That's so new. i never seen it grayed out here at, at Ionity Map. Huh. So. Let's look through, as always, Ireland nothing, Britain a lot, Scotland a bit, one, look at it, it's, they're increasing everything, Norway a few more, Ooh, even the boy. look, six more, and then Sweden has still this up here, nothing has changed, Poland one, Germany will get a lot, Again, I still don't know why it's always so close together and then other parts are so far apart. That's just sad, uh, but it must be with planning. But that's just what they do. It's okay. Huh. Nice, nice, nice. Looks more like a Honda. <laughs> it's true. It does look like the Honda E, it's just a bit different. Okay. Um, what happened last week? Uh, nothing. Uh, well, uh, um, I uh, the, the, the Volvo XC40 got picked up. I had the twin motor XC40. I think I'm a bit too dark. Let's make it a bit brighter. Ah, um, the XC40 got picked up, but they wanted to pick it up on Monday, but very late, and I said that's not possible. So they did it on Tuesday, and the one who brought the car also. Uh, uh, gave me, uh, brought the C40, so C4 the single motor, front wheel drive, picked up the, the, the XC40 all wheel drive. So it was a switcheroo, that was awesome, I like that. So it's no stress of when someone comes, how do I get home? Because I do my, my, my car thing at, at, at work because there's a big parking lot and, and also it's better for, for the people who bring me a car um, because the train, so they usually go home by train, it's not far to a bus station and the bus station always goes to the main uh, um, train station and then they get home wherever they come from. Must be a horrible job by the way. You drive a, a car for I don't know how many hours, depends where they come from, so Wolfsburg is six, seven hours and then uh, you stay overnight or something and then uh, you go with the train back to where you came from. Mm. <laughs> you must like it somehow. By the way, drink up, but this is water. Ah, it's the stuff. Um, so this happened. Then, what happened then? Nothing? No? Uh, on Friday, I had my Tesla Model S Plaid um, uh, test drive. We talk about the details in a second, but but just uh, um, the whole. I wanted to do a very special intro to this video because you know me. I try to do a bit something special for intros in my videos, not just hello, here I am. This is what's happening. Uh, I like to do maybe a bit of entertainment that people are watching a video. That there's a reason behind it. Can you believe it? The reason is that people. Uh, why is this crooked? By the way, you're totally wrong. You're totally wrong. You should be pointing more in this direction. Um, that people, oh, what a woohoo! <laughs> that people who are watching, uh, um, if there's a video about a car that they don't care, maybe they still uh, uh, watch it because they think maybe it's a great intro. 
and I'm trying to do that. It's more work than the normal video mostly and this one is too. So during the week I made a lot of night uh, uh, videos so with the GoPro uh, star trails and I did a, a, a time lapse with with my, my normal camera here with movement uh, and stuff like this and, and I filmed the moon or again time lapse but then it's a movie and all of this and, and, and then uh, uh, a one from night to daylight so when the sun comes up and then a bit of drone footage just two three shots and then uh, me driving uh, to to Regensburg to the to the test uh, facility so the service center in Regensburg of Tesla but again not me blah 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 so it's just little short uh, cuts so the whole intro is is two minutes long but it's a lot of stuff so from from night to day to inside to driving there charging for a second going there arriving um, and I, I edited it yesterday and I had to pick out the music and everything and I picked the music that I used for the ID4 in December of 21 when it um, <laughs> wait you didn't try to recreate back to the future with the play <laughs> no I did not isn't that what is it 72 miles that's not very fast so I could do that with ID with the ID3 <laughs> um, yes and I edit, edited that yesterday took me 88 miles per hour what is that 140 kilometers per hour or something um, and it took me, hey Lars Peter, it took me three hours yesterday to edit that intro. Um, and it and me, so I, I went with the with the, the C40 that I have here. Now, by the way, beautiful color as you've seen today on the, um, he makes a fancy intro for Volkswagen and Tesla, everything else is mediocre. <laughs> no, I try to make others, if I have the time, uh, to make nice intros. I really do, but usually it's 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 also a lot of work. Uh, yeah, and I, uh, the the music I did yesterday and everything. So um oh idiot me I I I drove with the C40 to the the service center. I forgot about donuts. Lol, eighty-eight miles per hour. You could never drive the time machine normally in the autobahn. <laughs> Shirt, what's going on? Yeah, it's the 100th episode of the Let's Talk EV live stream. That's why I have a shirt on. I'm all nice. Someone lost his bathrobe in the future. No, it's outside there. But it's also warm. And this thing is warm. It's Czech Wolfskin. It's it's like the German version of Stromberg, what, what uh, uh, Björn Nieland is using. Um, <laughs> it's a plaid shirt to match the subject matter. Oh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, I'm very happy to have the hundreds in, in, like I said, almost four years. I don't know when I started. I could look it up. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we all know we're doing this for a while. And yes, I went to, to Regensburg and I brought my camera and everything, but I forgot one bag that was in the in the garage that I should have brought. It had all the suction cups in there. So if I would put a Suction cup here with a camera to film me, suction cup here to film down here. I forgot this. So I had to film the Tesla model plaid with my normal tripod in the middle here in the back. Put bags and all I had on the feet. So I, I, I was hoping it's not moving around the whole time. Put the camera on active steady shot. So even if it's moving a bit, it's still fine. And it was... Uh, I have put on shirt too <laughs> and and I was totally scared that, 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 that I spent so much work on the intro and then I, I film it and it's total crap I can't use it the whole but and I looked at it yesterday it's okay Whew. it's it's not amazing so like, like I wanted to with three cameras but it's still okay you can see very well and it even gives it a bit of a, a nice feeling since it's on a tripod Every time I did a full acceleration, the tripod went back, so the whole view goes up, and then when I slowed down, it comes back in. So that's 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 pretty neat. <laughs> so I was just lucky. Okay, let's talk about it. How was it? 
Okay, I arrived very early. I had my appointment at 9.30. I arrived at 10 after 9 and I parked the C40 20, 30 meters away because I thought that maybe Tesla doesn't like it when I get into the car and then I bring a lot of camera equipment into the Model S and drive off. Maybe they're like, hey, well, what are you doing? This is, this is a normal private uh, uh, test. You're not allowed to do that. And I thought maybe that's a problem. I don't want any hassle and stuff. So I, I parked it uh, at a school just a, a few meters away. And then, uh, uh, like I said, I went there by foot and just had to show, which is weird. The, the whole thing was, was, by the way, weird. So you can book. Uh, I, I got an email from Tesla saying... Um, do you want, uh, because I had a, a Model Y test drive, I don't know, a few months ago, can't remember when it was, with the performance model, uh, Model Y performance in black, and so I got an email from Tesla, hey, we have Model S Plaid, do you, uh, or, or just Model S, new Model S, do you want a test drive? And then you clicked on it, and then you can see where you're from and everything, and then it's, it, it's selected where you can do a test drive, and it said Regensburg, and then you can select the time. You said what time, press enter, of course email address and telephone number and everything. And then um, uh, you have to upload, take a picture of your uh, um, driver's license, front and back. And I thought this is then, everything's done, I can go. But no! It was totally weird, so I did that. Then uh, uh, next day I got an email um, saying, um, thank you for your interest in the Model S. We still need your phone number so we can confirm your test drive. And I was, why? I already got an email then back that said your uh, test drive is confirmed on Friday, whatever it was, February 10th. Was it the 10th? I think so. February 10th at 9.30, test drive in Regensburg Street and everything, and my name. So everything was set. So I didn't reply to that. I was, what is this? This is weird. Then on uh, a few days later, somebody called me uh, uh, and I wasn't home. And then left the message, hi, this is Tesla in Regensburg. We wanted to talk to you that you have your test drive on Friday. And uh, if everything is in order, please come at this time, bring this. He said, bring your, your identification, your license, uh, so driver's license, your phone because of some documents that you have to fill out. And uh, please give uh, you, you, your... Um, your test drive is confirmed, please call me back so you're really coming or something like this. And I was, what is this? Why is this such a fuss? And uh, uh, I also got an email from him telling me your test drive is confirmed, um, be there 15 minutes early or something like this. So I emailed him back because it, it said the name, it was the same guy who called and I said I will be to, there on Friday. Um, happy, uh, uh, looking forward to it, something like this. Uh, so uh, it was totally weird. And then I arrived, like I said, way too early, not at 9.30. I arrived at 5 after 9 or something. And then there was one woman there and she said, oh, you're early, but that's okay. We can do it now. We preheat the car and then you can just drive a bit longer. And I said, yes, <laughs> that's awesome, a bit longer. That's why I did it. By the way, the earliest that you can have it, I think the, the service center opens at 9, at 9.30 was my appointment, and I thought I will be there very early, maybe I can drive a bit longer than an hour. And it worked. Um, and so she, she took a picture of my license again, both sides, and then she just walked me out to the car, it took five minutes or so. I was in the car by 9.15. And she had to explain to me a few things, and I wanted that. So, uh, the, especially the gear. So, I, I saw the blinker, the buttons were fine, the, the autopilot button was fine, cruise control and stuff like this. Um, honking, I don't need, but it's fine. But the gear, uh, um, I wanted to see how you put the car in gear. And I thought there were buttons underneath the, the screen, and she tried pressed everywhere and the buttons, you can see them, that there's black and then something 
glossy black, so there, there was P, D and whatever. Um, but they, they never light up and at some point they did once, but we never got it to work. I couldn't make it work and she couldn't make it work, but you just do it on the screen. <clears throat> so when you press the, the brake pedal down, uh, in Germany it's still the same as in as with the Model Y, you get this card. I was hoping with a Model S you get a real key for free. I don't know if this is when you buy one. I hope when you buy one you get a real key if you want to and for free. But maybe they think Bluetooth key is the way to go and that's why you get the card. So to open the car, you put the card on the middle con uh, um, the B pillar of the car and in the in the car you have to put the the card in front where the two phone holders are. So one of those it has to be and then it recognizes this this card as a key and then it works. Have to press he, have to press a heat break to make sure the buttons below screen work. What is he break? The break. Yeah, we did. We did. They still don't, didn't light up. We did that. You didn't pay or it it's why it was in demo mode. Didn't pay or it for it. That's why. No, it wasn't in demo mode. They had it with their own account. It was fine. I get the impression they only light up when the headlights are switched on. Ah. And ah, and they they only seem to be gear indicator, not buttons. Maybe. But again, it was fine. Every time you press on on the brake on the screen, which of course now fills everything out, not like in Model 3 and Model Y, it's a bit separated so you can see your car and your speed, since the speed and your autopilot and the other cars is in your front display, which is awesome, I love it. Um, the screen is now used for whole Google Maps and if you, uh, like I said, are uh, standing and press the brake pedal, there's a tiny little window this wide coming up and if you swipe up, it's in uh, drive, if you swipe down it's in reverse and if you press on the top it's in park. You have to press hard and for a bit for the buttons to work. We tried a lot. <laughs> it didn't it didn't appear but it was also not a, a, a big thing. Um, yes, so then she showed me that. She, she asked if I have questions. I said no. She showed me a bit that you have three drive modes in the, the Model S. You have um, uh, chill, sport and, and plaid, then you have different uh, settings for your suspension. It can be comfort, sport, automatic, which sounds interesting depending on how you drive and I had it in automatic. Um, steering, you have your normal standard comfort and sport. I tried those threes, I didn't find too much difference. It's not, not a lot. And, and then I went on with my yoke wheel. <laughs> Uh, steering wheel off and, and I just drove 20 meters to, to the Volvo C40, got all my camera stuff and uh, filmed the intro there. Don't press too hard on the buttons otherwise it's it's a speed dial straight to Elon. <laughs> we don't want that. Um, um, and so I filmed intro and everything and the interior. Okay, I couldn't get the front to open, so I pressed on the screen, open front, it popped the hood, and I tried everything. It was freezing, it was minus four, even though it was sunny. Um, oh, I thought that yoke is not street legal in Germany. I guess it is, because it's there. And the car was all registered to Berlin, it was all, all fine. And I couldn't get the hood to open, I was looking underneath um, where it was opened a bit to see if there's any button, there was just some foam and I pressed a bit on it, I couldn't get it to open, I closed it again, I did it, tried it three times, I couldn't get the hood to open. I, I, I don't know what, uh, I'm just an idiot, I'm guessing, if I would ask, have asked her, two clicks to open, so you have to click that thing twice on the screen, I didn't have a key. It's possible. But it didn't say anything. It, it the, the screen tells you everything. If you press something, it tells you what's happening. Maybe it, it should have said, hey, press another one if you want it really open. Again, it's fine. I know it will be huge, The which is awesome. The trunk is gigantous. It's really big and there's a, 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 a pocket when you open it that's again extremely big that can 
I think, hold a golf bag underneath and then, I don't know, four of them in the middle and even the side things you can can open up. There's a bit of, of, of space underneath. Incredible how big that trunk is. Oh my God, really awesome. Sorry, the, the back seats, really nice, a lot of space. Um, the screen in the rear is really bright. Uh, uh, if you have to see something in the daylight, Awesome, you can regulate your temperature in, in on the rear seat. Uh, looked really nice. Um, again, as, as other other uh, Teslas, you cannot open the, the the glove box only with a button. That's for, for valet mode and stuff like this. Um, then I sat down in the, in the car. The seats are really comfy, adjustable, very nice. Of course, it saves it to all your profile and everything, like every Tesla. That's awesome. Um, you can adjust the steering wheel in and out, up and down, uh, with, of course, again, uh, like in Model 3, Model Y, with a button in the, in the vehicle and then with your left uh, scroll wheel. And also the same for the, the side mirrors. The, 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 the rear view mirror is, not, is still analog and it's, it's fine. Um, and you can see very far to the rear with the rear view mirror and it's, it's really big. So the view outside of the car is really great. When you are reversing, a lot of cameras pop up to the side and the one to the rear and you can switch it. When you put the blinker on, uh, like in the uh, Ionic 5 or Kia EV6, a camera from the left side to the rear is, is popping up. Um, so a picture from the camera, so you can see if there's a bike or something coming. The same when you, when you uh, have indicator to the right. That's really awesome. Um, uh, what I found is that uh, the, you sit, of course, really low, Model 3 level, I would say. For me, that's a bit too low to get comfortably out. I'm an old man. Uh, for you young, youngsters out there, that should be fine. Uh, what I found with the steering wheel, that it doesn't go very high. I always felt like it was too low and I had to put it more in. It, it went out extremely far, but not too far in. But the, 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 so if you have very long arms and you want it, don't want it right here, this could be a problem. And also, again, it doesn't go very high. I would want it a bit higher. With the yoke wheel, there's so much space to still see the instrument cluster. It could go at least this much higher, but it just ends. Uh, you can go very low. Uh, which is a totally weird position, but I would, would have wanted it higher, but that's how it was. It's fine. And the yoke wheel itself feel, feels okay when you're driving. Um, yeah, let's talk about this. So, driving, driving Model S plaid, um, steering, um, when, you, when you steer, let's say like this, it's totally fine if you have to turn far you just have to get used to it where you where you have your grip i didn't find that the yoke wheel as any uh, 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 prom problematic at all and when i saw it the first time i thought this is the biggest crap ever designed on this planet who would do such a thing and i still think it's stupid it's not needed it doesn't improve anything so yes you can see the in there's no obstruction to the instrument cluster but Many other cars in the world, or all of other cars in the world, have a normal steering wheel and I still can see the instrument cluster. And it's not that big that this would be obstruction. And I've been told that in Germany there will be a normal steering wheel at, uh, um, as well that you can order. It doesn't have to be a yoke. But, again, it's not a problem, but I also don't see a benefit. Really not. Um, the blinkers on the steering wheel, I got used to it in five seconds. You notice it because the, the, it's uh, for my thumbs, um, it was right, right perfectly, the right length. It was right there and up was left and down was right and it worked perfectly. And when you press left and then press right, it switches the indicator if you press left and then left again, it stops it. But the car, of course, is so smart with all the cameras and it knows where it is. So when you're on the highway and you switch a lane, it turns off the indicator by itself because it knows you have changed, changed the lane. So there's no 
uh, um, you have to turn it off by yourself. That's done really well. The same when you uh, uh, when you go somewhere, it knows you have done your turn. I switch it off for you. That works really well. The indicators are also very nice and quiet. Uh, uh, not too loud, not in the way. Done really well. So indicator, awesome. Steering wheel overall, like I said, it's not a problem, but I don't see a benefit. Um, steering itself is when you when you do this, so a tiny movement. There's nothing. The car does nothing. So there's a bit of a dead zone. Um, I don't know if this is the right word, but like I said, so so the steering feels when you just do this and that the car is not moving at all. But then when you do a bit more, it's moving more. So it felt a bit like it's I don't know. Like there's something wrong with it, you have to get used to it. So this is nothing, but this is something. So I don't know. Um, that wasn't amazing. That zone is right. Yes, strike. And uh, but overall, steering was was then nice. It wasn't too direct. It wasn't too firm. Like I said, I tried all three settings: standard, comfort, and sport. I didn't find too much. I think sport was a bit heavier. But I, I was doing this steering and then pressing, and try to feel something. It wasn't too much of of, of a difference. But the steering is ten times better than in a Model Three and a Model Y. 10 times better. It's not as direct and it's also uh, not not as heavy. It's it's not as light as in other cars, but it doesn't have to be. It was nice steering. I liked it, except for this dead zone. Steer by wire is Lexus version with the yoke. <laughs> um, 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 what am I saying? Um, so uh, I, I can I can live with the steering. Steering was really nice. Let's go with driving. Uh, what I noticed right away when I started driving off with the with the, the Model S is, which was weird, at 60 65 kilometers um, an hour, it started to vibrate, and I think it's because one or more of the tires weren't balanced right. So I was driving, it was nothing, and then it was 65, and then it really vibrated. And strongly, that, that in the middle console, there's a, a thing that you can open and close, a little plastic thing. And this plastic thing uh, touched a different plastic thing, and it made a sound. And then above 70, it was gone. It was only from 65 to 70, so I think it's one. Uh, the tires are not perfectly balanced. Um, it's fine. Um, I, I drove off with chill mode and chill mode is, it's really uh, no power. I would say under 300 horsepower as it feels like a biff, I would say 250 to 300 horsepower is chill mode. I tried sport, sport mode a bit and it's, it's enough, it's not needed uh, and of course I tried plaid. Um, chill mode, <laughs> that's true, no with, <laughs> with, with like this, can I write it? Chill boat, <laughs> uh, and uh, yes. So uh, let's drive on. Suspension. Model S, new Model S suspension is the best suspension a Tesla ever had. It's perfect. It was amazing. I drove slow. I drove in corners. I drove on the highway. I drove. I think my maximum was 160 kilometers an hour or something. Because I didn't drive too far, like I said, I had half an hour or 40 minute um, flat zones on tires, something like this. But um, the suspension is amazing. Model 3, Model Y are more than crap against this car. Model S is, uh, so that shows me that Tesla can do it. They just chose to cheap out on Model 3 and Model Y. If they would make a Model Y, with this steering and this suspension, and I don't know, it costs 5,000 euros premium, I would go for a Model Y. <laughs> but uh, I'm not a fan of Model Y, Model 3 steering, especially Model Y is very direct, um, <coughs> very firm. I don't feel too much control. That's me, that's my opinion. I have to say that all the time now. But with Model S, steering and suspension is amazing. This is, 
I, I'm not uh, 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 saying anything uh, weird here. This is Volkswagen level. There was no, oh my God, uh, um, um, almost or, or uh, it's good, but it can be better. No, this was amazing. This was an amazing suspension. And this is an extreme sporty car. This is a thousand horsepower sports car that has a suspension like my ID3. It was comfortable. Over bumps, it was nice. It wasn't too uh, jumpy like the uh, um, t um, Volvo XC40 when we went to Prague. Um, video is coming this week. Uh, um, it was it wasn't nice. I didn't like the the, the suspension, the shocks, a, at all. Um, and and for example, Mercedes EQA is way too soft, and and Tesla Model Three is way too sporty. This is amazing. It, again, not too soft, not too hard. It's perfectly in the middle, and there are more settings. I could have changed it. I didn't. Again, didn't have too much time and it was just amazing. Why would I change something that's amazing? Next is the sound level in the car. I drove on a highway, drove 100, 130, then 160. And the noise level is amazing. <laughs> Again, uh, the, the, the noise in the car, tire noise, wind noise is 10 times better than in Model 3, Model Y. Model Y is already way better than the older Model 3s. Maybe the new uh, Model 3s are, 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 are getting better and better noise levels and everything. The frame rate looks weird. No, it's better, huh? Is it? Um, maybe I should turn it off for a second. Ah, you can't see me. There I am. Zoom in a bit. Ah, it looks better. Um, is noise cancelling a thing? No, I, I meant uh, not noise cancelling. I meant noise dampening. So with windows. Uh, or maybe, maybe it is a noise cancelling thing from the speakers. I don't know. But it was extremely quiet. I drove there with the, the Volvo C40. I had the Kia EV, Kia EV6, Kia Nero EV before then. And I know my... my ID3 and uh, Kia is the loudest of them. Uh, the Volvo is is fine, but a bit louder. ID3 is very quiet, and this was as quiet. Amazing noise, even at 160, totally comfortable. Steering was great, and noise level was great. Top notch and top marks. They so they can do it. I'd love to see a video where noise cancelling is turned on and off while driving. <laughs> I don't know if you can do that. Um, I didn't play with the settings and stuff like this. It was more about, about driving, like I said. So um, the main things for me were awesome. With a normal steering wheel, this is, is a really great car. A lot of space, a lot of features. Charging um, um, is 16.5 kilowatt AC and 250 kilowatt DC if you have a charger that supports that because Ionity maxes out at 500 amp. That means that usually with a 400 volt system you don't get above 190 kilowatt, but on a supercharger you get your 250. No rope and no merch top. That's true. Ah, then we do this. <laughs> David's world is crazy. It's a hundred episode today. That's why it, it's an active noise cancelling system that can be enabled disabled in the entertainment system. Really cool. You know stuff. I didn't know. Um, I had no idea that it even has that, but again, it was amazing in there. Mm. And then, uh, um, last thing, of course, is the power. Ionity goes over 200 kilowatt, you are wrong. No, Ionity goes over 200 kilowatt, of course, but Ionity charges max out at 500 amp, and uh, if you have a battery that is below 400 volt like model 3 for example the max you can get because it's then 375 volt with 500 amp is 190 kilowatt i am not wrong you didn't listen <laughs> it's something crazy like 20 speakers audio system too uh, i didn't check the, the sound it is over 400 volt yet then it's it it, it it depends what exactly is it like i said uh, model 3 was at 300 75 or something it maxed out at 189 kilowatt if this is even let's say 430 volt 
Let's do that. 430 volt times 500 amps, that's 215 kilowatt. So it cannot do 250. Good evening, Wolpertinger. And um, so it would only max out the 250 kilowatt if... Oh, I can't even calculate anymore. 250 kilowatt uh, divided by 500 amps. If it goes up to 500 volt, only then it can max out its 250 kilowatt at Ionity and other hyperchargers. They're all, most of them are limited to 500 amps. Um, I didn't charge, by the way, of course not. And it went down from 90 something. Uh, you can also activate the drive mode selector on the center console by sim simultaneously and briefly pressing both scroll buttons on the steering yoke or steering wheel. Okay, yeah, but how often do you do that? I drove a bit in sport, I drove a bit in chill mode, but mostly in, in play, just to see. And you can drive normally, you just can't floor it. That's the difference. Um, yeah, the power. Of course, I tried the power a bit, but I'm, I'm, I'm totally being honest here. I never floored it right away. So I never was nothing and then full. Because <laughs> I was not on a, on a track, I was on a normal road, and it seemed to move a bit. So I had spinning wheels a bit, it had winter tires on, of course, and uh, I was just too scared that something would happen, uh, I didn't uh, trust, trust it too much. So what I did was give it 80%, and then when it was driving, then maybe for a short time, 100%. And of course the acceleration is crazy and I did it a few times, four or five times from the stand, from 30 kilometers an hour or on the highway when I was driving 100 and, and not even flooring it but just giving it a bit of power. And my thing is, and everyone is different again, it's way too much. It's, it is way too much power, it's not needed. Uh, it cost 50,000 euros more to get a 1,000 horsepower instead of what the normal Model S, I think, is 680 or something, 650 horsepower. That's way, that's, that's more than enough to 650. And you get 80 kilometers more range out of it. You only have two motors and it's more than enough. So I would only go for the normal Model S. Nobody needs that plaid. It was scary. Uh, um, it didn't, when I accelerated, I wasn't uh, getting nauseous or, or uh, uh, <laughs> blacked out or something, but it's just extremely unnecessary. It's nice that it can do that and it's okay that they sell it and people can, can try whatever they want, but in a normal daily use, um, you do that for a few weeks, oh my god, it's so fast off the line and I don't know what, but then you stop. It's going to be Cindy's presents for, <laughs> yeah, sure. No, she told me she doesn't want any presents, by the way. And she's a woman, she means what she says, so, so she really means it. So she's not getting anything on Tuesday. And I'm not getting anything any, anyways. But with Plaid, you know you are on top of the food chain. That's true. Um, but... It was really scary. I didn't like it. I had one spinning wheels and it felt like it was both rear wheels. Um, I, I'm sure that the Model S has some, some weird uh, thing mode, so a launch mode or something. I didn't try that. I just was standing and floored it. Uh, or almost floored it and at 30 kilometers an hour I think... And I never floored it and with flooring I mean like full. I did uh, <laughs> like this, because it was a bit scary. You won't black out by acceleration, the g-forces are much higher when braking. I know! <laughs> Just kidding here, I know that. Um, but maybe I have something in the rear, so acceleration makes me black out, who knows? Even in Formula 1, yeah. Um, yeah, this, is, so the power is just way too much, way too crazy, uh, not needed. Another point, regen. So of course you have um, an extreme and great regen as with every Tesla, Model 3, Model Y. I never drove a Model X in my life, by the way. Never. I was never in... No, was I in one? I can't remember if I ever sat in a Model Y. I don't think so. A Model X, sorry. 
Um, hmm. Doesn't matter. But uh, um, regen is, a, is in every Tesla is really amazing. And here as well, one pedal driving, no problem. Very strong regen when you get off the accelerator pedal on low speeds. And now this is amazing. At high speeds, the regen is not as strong when you come off. And you're a bit weirded out in the first time. You do it and you're like, why is it not slowing down as much? And it's good. Because a lot of cars that I drove that have good power, and I mean even 400 horsepower is great power, when you get off the accelerator, then full regen comes in, so you accelerate full and on the highway, and then, oh my god, there is something, I have to slow down, and then it, it slows down very strongly and makes the car a, a bit unstable, not fully, Model 3, Model Y, um, had that in the in the day, but not maybe they, they updated that too. But in the Model S, you go off very fast and, and, and you slow down a bit more gently. It's not full regen right away. You feel stable, you feel normal. Um, and then when you're a bit slower, region kicks in way um, more. I love that a lot. It felt great. Region again is top notch. Yeah. So that's that's all of my Model S. I I, I then uh, took a short uh, drone footage, a minute, and and made made a video ending and everything, and brought the car back and arrived two minutes too late. I apologized, but she said that's fine. And I was, but isn't maybe they have two cars? So it's possible they have two Model S's, and then one is driving at 9:30, coming back at 10:30, and the other one can go with the the one car at 10:30 or something. Um, a very reassuring drive apart from the crazy acceleration. Yes, so I would, if if you can afford a Model S, a new one, not the plaid, the normal one, which is what is 100,000 euros, that's a lot of money. It's a great car, I think, and 680 kilometers of range. Is it 680? I thought it was 680. Let's go over here. Model S order with hundred and hundred and thirteen thousand. Ooh, the, the plaid got cheaper. It's only hundred and thirty-eight now, but normal model S hundred and thirteen, and it's six hundred thirty-four kilometers. I was wrong, and also the three hundred twenty-two kilometers an hour top speed. I don't need that. I will never drive. I will r rarely, if even, drive to 250. I would be, no. Uh, and delivery is in April to June of 2023. That's soon. It's in two months. And it's for both cars, by the way. But if you choose a different color, if you go, there was a blue one, by the way. But if you take gray and, of course, the 21 inch tires, because that's just cool. Aha, uh -huh, you have to buy your, your tow hook extra. And I want the cream interior, not the white and not the yoke. Look, we can get the normal one. Does it cost extra? Nope, both inclus inclusive. And then you get the full. And then you are at, what am I? Give me a price here. 131,000 euros. That's a lot. And if you do leasing and you pay your 6,000 euros on and drive 20,000 kilometers in two years, you pay 1,700 euros, 1,750 a month for a Model S. That's a lot of money. No, no. That's why I canceled my order. That's a bit too much. And one of my friends used to have Model S 75D and the car always felt... Very sure-footed, comfortable, and effortless, and still felt like a rocket ship. That's true. So Model S is for sure so different than to Model 3, Model Y. Um, you can just see the price difference here. I mean, 130,000 euros for Model S and a Model 3 you can configure for, for 60. So that's half the price. So of course the steering is different, the suspension is different, and you don't have a screen in front of you and all that. With all that money you have, you have, you could get two. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can get two. Um, yeah. My water is out. Now I'm sad.
I want a coffee though. Oh, I would love a coffee right now. I would never fall asleep again. No, but this, uh, uh, my, I put my foot down. It's nice when the camera is shaking when I do that. Ooh, um, because the dinosaur is moving in. Now it's annoying, I know. Um, it's, it's really a great car. They, it, I think it's overpriced for what it can. So if they would bring out one for 400, with 400 horsepower uh, or what do you, I don't know, 450 and, uh, uh, and, and sell it for, for 80,000 euros, that would still be okay. I don't know why it has to be 130,000 euros or if you don't take the autopilot and not the 21 inch wheels, you had 120, it's still a lot of money. <laughs> See, servant, I need a coffee. Mm, doesn't work. Um, okay, we haven't done the light game yet. The 177 people here, we, we pl uh, play the light game. So I will count down from 3 to 0 and then we all press the like button. I can do that too. Um, so everybody likes the stream. We, are, we uh, If we get to 100... That's a bonus, but I doubt it how we, uh, because a few of you already pressed the like button. Let's go to the bonus, but Ooh. I doubt it how we, uh, because Ooh, I hear myself. I pressed like. No, don't press like now. You have to wait. <laughs> Cindy, coffee. Okay, I'm going to count down from three to zero. Then we all press like. Me as well. Three, two. Come on, focus on the hand. One. Like. Thirty-seven. Fifty-two. Fifty-seven. Just fifty-six here and here fifty-eight. 61, that's okay. I'm okay with 61. Thank you very much for uh, uh, participating. Partici I can't say it. You know what I mean? Something with partish and painting. <laughs> but what about a poll? Give me, what, what do you want to know? There is no cat, you only get high likes when there is a cat. Cat uh, Finnegan will be here in December. He's still at my parents, they love him. And I'm looking forward to the Cindy video of the plaid. She hasn't seen the car. I was alone in Regensburg, drove it for an hour. Yeah, I know how to ride it, partici participating, but I can't say it. It's a lot of shh, 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 shh. I'm horrible with that. Um, yes, uh, now we get to what's coming up. Today I, may, I did a little range test with the Volvo C40 single motor out there. It has the smaller battery, only a motor in the front, um, 170 kilowatt, 230 horsepower. And uh, I did that for two reasons. First, for a video, of course. Uh, I made the full range test, but I didn't uh, do the live stream today for the whole video because my data ran out and there were 22 people there. So it was just easier to stop the stream and then focus on the filming and everything. I also charged from, I arrived with 11%. I then charged to 80% because I wanted to see how long does it take because next Saturday, I'm taking a trip with Matthias. You remember him from from the ID bus video? Where are we? Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Where is my videos? Where can I? That's weird. Then I have to do it here. Where are we? Uh, final videos. Uh, da, 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 ID bus trip one. If you remember that, that's me. Who cares about me? Who cares about this?
Vinci. Just trying to. Um, oh, you know that you're trying to. That's Matthias. He's my old boss. Um, and we are going with the Volvo C40 here. Your brother Matthias. Now wait, he's he's a bit younger than me. How how much younger is he? At least ten years. And. Again, he was my boss once. I worked in a warehouse where his dad's company, but he did most of the things, so he was my boss. And I quit <laughs> at some point, and I went to a different company. <laughs> Not talking about why, that's just mean. Um, and, but it wasn't a problem with him. Uh, um, I always liked him. He's a, good, he's a good boy. And... He has a Model 3, he had a Model 3, he just got a Model Y this week um, in white. And uh, 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 we're going with this car to Hannover on Saturday, which is the 18th, I think? 19th? No, 18th. February 18th on Saturday. We're starting at 5 a.m. at his place, so I have to leave here at 4.40. Um, pick him up at 5, we leave from him. Going to Hannover, it should normally take... Six and a half hours if you don't charge. When you charge, it should be seven and a half hours. Um, but maybe there's traffic, maybe charging takes longer than I think it will. Maybe the consumption is higher uh, because of cold. Even though I used a better route planner to plan that. He's a good boy. He must be a dog. Good boy. Good boy. Um, 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 um. Um, in a better route planner, I put in what car and also higher consumption that it's raining or snowing and stuff like this. I want to be there uh, not too late because we have the appointment is at four, they, uh, at, at two, so 14 hours, 14 o'clock. And I said we should be there 15 minutes earlier, the latest, um, because I'm driving to a Volkswagen event. They're going to reveal the Volkswagen ID3 facelift. We can drive, but we can film it. We can get information from experts that are there. That's going to be a long day, but a great day. That's true. It's going to be fun. Of course, they're going to film a vlog in German and English about the whole trip. I will get, uh, have my drone with it, make the same shots if we arrive at a charger, if we leave and stuff like this. Will you sneak peek ID7? There won't be an ID7 there. That's a different event that I already heard about, but I haven't been invited yet. But I, I, I've been told where it is and when it is. And I've been told I could be invited, but I have not, unless I get uh, the email, I don't, I'm not sure yet. So I'm, I'm waiting for that email. Um, yes, and, and, and that, this is all on Saturday. So at, at two o'clock is then, we have three hours with to talk to experts about the ID3 facelift, what changed and everything. I will make a video this week. Um, if people have questions about ID3 facelift, if they want to know something from the experts, I will post it on the ID Drivers Club Facebook group from Volkswagen in German and English. If someone has something they want me to ask, and I will not ask every question that I get, but some that, that the ones that are interesting, I will ask them. Um, and then I can make a video afterwards, what uh, or in this video, what the answers were. Um, like I said, it's three hours that we have time with the car, so at 5 p.m. it's all over. We have to leave. Get out! Um, we then go out, then we'll see if we're dead tired, we just go to the hotel. The hotel I had to book myself, but afterwards Volkswagen will uh, reimburse me, I think is the word, um, for, for that hotel for me and, and Matthias. In the, the hotel is 200 meters away. I did that on purpose. So if we're really dead tired, we just go there and, and sleep. Uh, can I, uh, maybe get through? Still no 3.0 over there on my car. Yeah, I've talked to Volkswagen this week. It's still going very slowly and it's not amazing. So they're, they're still thinking of different plans for updates and stuff like that. Uh, you will get the hotel money back if you do a good review. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter what they do. They can't do that. It says it in the thing that they are not allowed to pay 
special money because then that means they're paying for a review and they can't do that so they can only reimburse for driving there and the hotel costs but not for your work that you do for a video um, that's just how it is and, and that's fine with me and and uh, i would just show the car in good light and with good angles and and check out the space um, and stuff like this and get over all the details how uh, they look like now and what is better what looks different and everything and um, hopefully i don't know but hopefully there's the, the 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 gtx there that would be amazing to see that if it's any different if it looks different how how they change stuff but i don't know uh it comes faster with <laughs> that's maybe that uh, um, compliance regulation you're totally right they always tell, tell say that to me when i say i get a car to drive to your event are you giving me a charging card no we can't do that because of compliance regulation i have to pay by myself and then later get reimbursed but they can give it to me up front something like this um yes so and then like i said at 5 p.m we have can do whatever we want maybe we get something to eat and then sleep and next morning we go back home and maybe because this is a Sunday, it's possible that maybe at some point we're going to do a live stream on the way back home. Um, but I don't know yet. We'll see. But again, I want to do, a, of course, a little video of driving there, behind the scenes there, how it looks there, like there when someone else is filming. But there's no one, when we come, come in la late, there's no one doing anything and then uh, when we leave there's no one after us so but again uh, was it the dealer for service last week paid 367 euros what did i pay i forgot also 320 or something the volkswagen update router is very busy no party gate videos of other youtubers party gate yeah that's true um i don't know who's there and, and especially on that day and and i don't know what people do afterwards to just leave or stay there it's not like the the id bus event was a bit different everybody arrived and then there were there were so many cars that everybody could just leave with the cars and then afterwards there was a dinner everybody met and 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 not everybody talked to each other but there were a lot of people and so this was the event for two days and then it was the next the next people came this is more like you're coming at two you leave at five no one else is there and this was the same when i was at the id5 id5 gtx um a photo shoot there were just two cars id5 id5 gtx and then someone was up there to film and take pictures he had an hour after an hour he had to leave then i went up did my video and then i had to leave and then there was someone else after me but i didn't see people that were there a few hours before or a few hours behind um then there was the thing with the boat ride yeah that was the the, the boat ride was to get to the to get to the restaurant which we could have walked to and would have been there earlier uh, because we went on we were waiting for all the people to arrive for the boat then the boat took five minutes to get there and and we literally uh, uh, went with the boat like this and there was a, a bridge like this and we ended up at the same locations <laughs> And then there was the thing with the boat. Yeah, you, you YouTubers all treated like cattle. Um, yeah, it's 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 a it's a weird it's a weird environment because there are people working that are like, oh, you are our customers, you are representing this. We want to be nice to you, and uh, uh, it's it's sometimes a bit. And we're like, hey, come on, cool down. It's fine. Be normal. We can talk like a normal person. Uh, the press drives are more social events with everyone getting out in their cars in the, in the same location. Yeah, but uh, um, the most most interaction I had with other YouTubers was was at the ID4 uh, uh, dri media drive event where I met uh, Stefan from Next Move and Stefan Schwunk from Schwunkvoll. Uh, Robin from Robin TV should have been there, but he cancelled. There was someone else. Was there? Maybe not. I can't remember. But uh, uh, yeah, that was the, the, the where I was interacting with other YouTube channels. Uh, after that, 
uh, all the events, not really. I arrived, they gave me a car, said, oh, you, do you have any questions? We have this. A, a bit when I was at the tech day in Wolfsburg, it was a bit of interaction because they said it starts at 10 and it didn't start till 11. So that uh, we waited around for an hour, nobody came, it was a bit annoying. But uh, uh, it's fine. And then we could drive with cars, it was just way more important to test out ID Software 3.0 in a car, in a new ID3. That was fun back in the day. Um, it was just horrible timing for me. I didn't want to go in the first place to this Tech Day event because Cindy was, was in Stockholm at a concert. I had the dogs and I knew it would be a hassle to go to Wolfsburg with the dogs and then stay overnight in a hotel and everything. And I, I said, poor dogs in the car for seven hour, or seven and a half hours to drive there, seven and a half hours to go back. Um, and I wanted to arrive at home at a reasonable time, not stay two nights in uh, in, in Wolfsburg. And so I, I drove there the day before, drove Cindy to the airport and drove to Wolfsburg. You saw the video, maybe, <laughs> you should have. Um, and then I stayed overnight. Next morning I walked the dogs, then I went to the event, waited for that uh, time till it started. Um, and then I left at 2 p.m. So I arrived at 8 p.m. at night, at 10 p.m. at night, at home at a reasonable hour and not, not extremely late. And um, it turned out I didn't miss too much. So there were uh, ex expert positions there. So this was about charging, this was about self-parking and I don't know. Um, this is one of the of them short stories we are used to. Yeah, they're very short. And and I went to one that explained a bit, but the other ones uh, I didn't do. But then afterwards I was looking at other uh, info material and other YouTubers about 3.0 and there was nothing in there that I didn't mention, so I was fine with it. I'm still waiting for 3.3 for my ID3. I understand that. A lot of people are still waiting. Um, I haven't driven my ID3 in three weeks. No longer. Five weeks. <laughs> I had the Kia Nero EV for two weeks, then the Volvo XC40 for two weeks, and now a week the C40. But next Monday, so tomorrow in a week, I will drive Walter again. Yay! No, not on Monday, uh, uh, on Tuesday, because on Monday the C40 will be picked up and I get it the, the day after I can drive Walter again. So for six weeks I didn't drive, drive Walter, only Cindy drove with it uh, three times a week. She drives to work. Um, she said there was nothing, there was no update or anything. Picking up IDC Pro S in two days, ordered in December 2021, should come with 3.0. Yes, it should come with 3.2. If it was built in the last four or five months, it should come with 3.2. You're not alone, no Norman. Yeah, nobody's alone here. Uh, Walter is going to be mad at you. Six week park breaks will cease. Again, he didn't, uh, he was driven. He was driven three times a week by Cindy, always to work and then home. So he wasn't parked for longer than from Tuesday to Monday, so for three days. And never above 80%, mostly under. So I took care of him. Uh, I'm always looking if he's fine. Um, how's the state of charge and how and I did the preheating for her that when she goes to work it's warm and then when she leaves from work the car is warm. Um, perhaps I have to wait for, for it until I have 200,000 kilometers. And that's true, you have to do that. Um, another thing uh, that I haven't even uh, said to my Patreons yet, I totally forgot, I'm so sorry. <coughs> this week I wrote out a ton of, of emails uh, for press cars to everyone. I even wrote Fiska about the Fiska Ocean and they told me they will uh, forward it to the right people. Doesn't mean anything. Walter very happy has Cindy now. Yes, he is. Um, I emailed Rematch again. I said um, that the car is being tested everywhere. I've seen a lot of videos, but nobody's testing the range. I can do that. I can do it very well. And I would come in the area where a car is and do a, a range test if, if you let me. I thought Cindy didn't drive. When we are driving together, she prefers if I drive, but she's driving. She drove Walter many times before. 
Um, I will pay Volkswagen for update my car latest software. <laughs> <clears throat> that would be cool if you could pay and then get it earlier. I would love that. Then the people who are like, eh, who cares? They can wait and, the, and Volkswagen makes a bit of money. It just sounds a bit weird. You have to pay for an update. Um, yes, I wrote Fisco Ocean. I wrote Lotus about the, what was it? Etera? What's the name? The Lotus electric car with six, seven hundred horsepower. Elettre. Do you say it like that? Is it French? The Lotus Elettre? How do you, it's, it sounds like it's French. How do you pronounce this? Isn't Lotus British? It starts at 96,000 euros. Come ready, I can test the rematch. I have no idea. I have no idea. I think the rematch is something special. Only uh, the, the the race car people get it. Like, uh, um, uh, uh, um, um, help me. Uh, I can't think of it. Then they have the Grand Tour right now. What was it? I watched it a few times. Help me. Yesterday I went deep, only 4 kilometers range left in my minus 18 Ionic when I got home. Nico Rosberg wants one air, yeah, and I, I watched those videos. No, no, um, I, I mean shows a show in Britain. Top Gear, now I have it. <coughs> Top Gear, I heard this, uh, that, that some Kia and Hyundai dealers want money for the update with the preconditioning on Ionic 5 and EV6. It's, it's, it's not a thing that they want money. Um, Kia and Hyundai are not paying for the update. And the dealer can decide if the hour work that they do, if they, <coughs> if they let them pay for it or not. <coughs> Sorry. Richard Hammer crashed one. No, there was a, was a rematch, but not the Nevera that I'm talking about. I was away for 20 minutes. Did I miss the liking? Yes, you did. You have to press it now. Lotus was British, now owned by Chile. Eee! Yeah, Top Gear. That's what I what I said before. Yeah, but what what, what that word is it is it French French? So is it L -E pronounced El Etra? El Etra? It still sounds French. <laughs> I have to watch a video about it and hear how they pronounce it. But I wrote them, and I wrote all I don't know. I wrote Hyundai for the Ionic Six, and I have good contact with a very nice person there and I don't know and I got one answer back well I was and was invited to the Renault Kangoo electric there's a new uh, Kangoo e-tech it will fully electric uh, little van for 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 people who who do uh, a bit of construction somewhere um, if you know the Kangoo and they invited me um, for a media drive <coughs> the problem is and I wrote them um, this is exactly in the middle of March, so week 11, and Cindy has an operation in that week. She's not here for four days, I have to take care about the dogs, I'm not going anywhere. And when she's coming back, I have to take care about her. Um, I say it like Electra, but just try to keep the C silent. Electra. Like this? Electra. <laughs> and... Uh, so I had to cancel, but I wrote them, thank you very much for an invitation, I would have loved to be there, it sounds very interesting, but sadly I can't because of that. And they wrote back, that's no problem, very sorry to hear that, wish your wife uh, uh, good, uh, good health, hopefully see you the next time. Can you say s something about the specs of the Kangoo, battery capacity and charging specs? No, it didn't say anything in the email, just a picture and that I'm invited in the middle of, of March, and that's it. Still sounds French. <laughs> um, so it didn't s say any details about, about the car. That would have been very nice. I would have wanted to be there. Um, and then um, uh, I got an email back from Seat. I will get the Cooper Born a big battery, 77 kilowatt hours, with the 170 kilowatt uh, motor, so with the boost function. So I will get that car at the end of... February? No, March, sorry. Um, when do I get it? I don't even know. <laughs> I have to check. When do I get it? Uh, where is it? 
press there it is from the uh, from uh, the 17th to the 31st and yes this is also in the week of Sinis operation but I don't have to do anything in a few days uh, before that pronounce is like cross so <laughs> Richard Hammer will, cr will crash this electro in future <laughs> <laughs> have been trying to swap my ID3 for an ID4, not looking good for uh, price values at the moment. We'll have to wait. Yeah, it was great. Okay, then we wait for the video. No, I, I can't make a video right. I don't know anything. The other videos will be first. Maybe I get the press material. We'll see. Then I make a video. Um, so I get it in the middle of March till the end of March. I get two weeks the ID3, ID3, the Cooper Born big battery with the mega power motor 20 kilowatt more all these columns is almost like it's meant to be geneva auto show or something <laughs> yes and that's all that's planned so far um yeah i'm still waiting for a volkswagen id bus press car so i can do a bit of a trip and camp i want to do that i want to go into the south so, uh, so in the south so to italy or something uh, drive it there and uh, uh, stay overnight and then go back or something. I would really want to do that. I was thinking to going to an event that I can't talk about it yet. Uh, uh, can't talk about yet, uh, um, but I think it's too far. It's not, it's, it's, it would take too long. It would uh, uh, not be good. Kind of like Audi EV, soon to be more expensive ID4. Does anyone seen anything about ID4 3.0 over the air bit for all costs? Don't get the 135 kilowatt curve. Um, if you have 3.0 and the normal ID4 77 kilowatt hour battery, you get 135 kilowatt curve, or 142 even. Have you ever driven the Audi e-tron? The GT? No, I haven't driven a normal e-tron. Once for two hours. Uh, Audi doesn't want to give me press cars and they also don't want to invite me to anything. Uh, and I asked them a few times and they said no. And that's fine. It's their decision. I saw it yesterday. I see a lot of Cooper Born on the roads. Looks way better than ID3 in my opinion. That's okay. Um, I think they... I've seen a few but not too many. Cold Blood Zone. <laughs> no, the normal. Here's a normal uh, uh, e-tron. I'm not a fan. It's just a gigantic, gigantic car. Uh, um... No, it's not my not my thing. The GT looks very interesting, but again, I don't get press cars from Audi. I will try again soon. Just see see if if they they change their mind. If they are German, if the German channel is a bit bigger. We'll see. I hope so. Um, yeah, that's it for the next thing. I love Cooper Bonds. I think that's it for me today. How long did we do? Where does it say? There, an hour and 17 minutes. I think that's enough. I blabbed the whole time. You saw my beautiful shirt. And when I do this, it looks like I'm a, I'm a big fatty because this does it does this, but it means that it's too loose there, but it looks like I'm fat. And I have my normal home pants on. <laughs> so it's just for show. Uh, the Q4 e-tron is like ID4, ID5. Yes, uh, um, I liked it too, the, the Q4 e-tron, except for it has the same problem in the C40 out here. The rear view mirror height and the, the rear window height is off. That's why you cannot see very far. So this, the, the rear view mirror is higher than the the rear window and then you look into the ground you cannot see very far especially on the highway that's very annoying you have to use your side uh, mirrors uh, way more often and and look how far is this car and i always do it with the rear view mirror and then when you can't do it it's a bit of a problem for me okay Thank you very much for being here at the 100th episode of Let's Talk EV. Thanks for the likes. Only 77 likes. Shame on you. <laughs> I said it. Thanks, Chris. Twin Cabbage. Thanks, Chris. Don't get to catch the live chat too often. Oh, thank you for being here, member. I appreciate it very much. Um, if you want to support the channel, we have... Oh, I have to get the other thing. We have, of course, merch. No, it's the wrong one. 
We have channel membership here on YouTube, even on the German channel I have channel membership, but no, not one member. <laughs> and we have Patreon support in the description. There's a Patreon link if you want to support. And there's also a PayPal link if you want to support. I appreciate it very much. It helps a lot. You have no idea how much it helps to have Patreons and YouTube members. And I hope I give them stuff back. So if I uh, get info about something and can help them, I try to do that. And I also give them access to videos when they're done, even though they're not published for the normal uh, um, viewers. And... Um, what want to say? Uh, uh, they also have input on the video. So if I make a video and they say, "Yeah, I would do this a bit different," and then somebody else also, and then yeah, I don't know, and then uh, we decide together. I'm still watching the English one, even though I'm German. <laughs> you crazy? You crazy? But me too. <laughs> and spoilers. That's true. You get spoilers. And when I get invited to something, I tell it to to. To members and Patreons first. They get everything. I, I really try. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not putting him down. Björn is great. Björn Nieland is amazing. But I, I was a member of him once on, on, on Patreon. Because I wanted to see how he's interacting with his Patreons. And he doesn't interact. There's nothing. So if someone is... but If I get a new Patreon, I usually... No, not usually. I write that person and thank him. And it's not a pre-configured email, but it's not very long. It's just three sentences. And if people have questions, they can email me there. I email back because they support me and I want to support them. Um, you are really trying. Cindy says you're trying too. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to go now. Thank you to the members and the Patreons. Appreciate it. You all take care. Bye. Great picture, isn't it?